This video shows Instant Rescue recovering a system that has been rendered unbootable due to a Windows driver being deleted. We've replicated what can occur in a real-world Windows environment. Windows service packs and security updates get applied, or third-party software and drivers get updated. Something goes wrong, and Windows will no longer boot. When this occurs, it can take hours or days to bring the system back to a known good state. You may need to reinstall Windows and update with all necessary service packs and security updates, as well as download and install all of the third-party applications that you are using. Instant Rescue recovers the system as quickly as it takes to reboot, about 30 seconds. It works by creating a bootable rescue area. This rescue area is created automatically when you install Instant Rescue. I'm running an application that will delete a driver that Windows needs in order to boot. When I reboot Windows, you can see the dreaded Windows Fail to Start screen. Recovering the system is simple. Reboot the system, and when the Instant Rescue screen is seen, press F1. You are asked if you want to boot into the rescue area. Press the Y key to boot into the rescue area. Windows will then boot normally, and after you log in, you'll be able to see you're booted into the rescue area. Instant Rescue will also automatically boot into the rescue area if Windows fails to boot properly three times in a row. For more information about Instant System Recovery using Instant Rescue, visit download.raxgo.com slash instantrescue.